Hey, what's up guys? This is Sanchez and I just want to go ahead and show you guys how I go about networking. Um, this can be applied to any any industry, to be honest. Basically, let's just start somewhere with uh, just anywhere, right? So right now, we're going to start with Twitter. I did a little engaging with somebody. All right, so this is going to be Adam Townsend. You go ahead and click on his name. And then you see that, you know, he has 84,000 followers. He's an investor. Even if you never heard of this person in your life, just like I, I did it at the beginning, um, you see that he has a good following. And you see that his niche matches yours. So what you do from there is you do a little Google search. Um, and that's what I did. So I looked up his network. You don't need to do, you don't need to do that. Um, you just type in his name, but it pulls up this website here, this first one. And this is just part of researching, right? Like you can, you didn't have to put a network. You can type in other key terms, however you want to do it, but just to get to a place where you get to see, you know, who they work with and all that good stuff. So, um, Right now, here's all the persons that he that's in his network. OK, so what you want to do is now that you've created a network with Adam, now you want to branch off. So you create a branch and then your branch has branches. Right. So what I'll do is I'll go ahead and just click this guy and have no idea who he is. And then what I like to do is I like to go to two places um, Twitter. A lot of business person personnel are on Twitter. So boom, there he goes. And see, even this, like he works for this company. So I'm going to just go follow that company. Boom. All right. And then it doesn't look like Entrepreneur Center. That sounds interesting. So this is how I network. See who he's friends with. Boom. So your branches just immediately start branching out, right? Boom. And then so right now it doesn't look like he has a uh, doesn't look like he has a Instagram or, or a uh, Twitter. So then the second place, um, they're both they're, which one's better. There is none. They're both about the same. So from here, you can already see he's in a research history. But um, go ahead and paste his name. Go ahead and search. And then boom, there he is. He's on uh, he's on he's on LinkedIn. Now, what you want to do is you want to see if you can add them first as a friend. On LinkedIn, you can add or you can follow. So they try to get you with the follow or view profile. So first, click view profile. And then there's these three dots on the right-hand side. See? Now it pulls up connect, right? So there's a difference between connect and follow. This is a little life hack, another life bonus. So first, we hit connect. And then we hit follow. So he got a friend request and he gets a follow. And then we just uh, move on to the next person, Lucas Schieber. Copy text only. Who is he? Chief Innovation Officer. Does he have LinkedIn? Looks like he does. Great. View profile. Click the three dots. I wish to connect. Boom. And I can't message him. It's I can't even follow because it's uh it's private. So see. You get that sometimes. Then again, of course, we go back over to Twitter. There's this guy in here. Let's check it out. Uh, no, I mean, you just go a lot. You start liking. You can start commenting. Again, it's about exposing yourself. There's a real science behind this. Market beat. I'm, I'm into Forex and stocks and crypto. So whoever's supporting him, I want to support them. You know, look them up. And you can really take this a step further, okay? Um, the rabbit hole gets deep fast. So, for example, um, this one's talking about this is talk. This is one of the search results, but it's talking about a stock, APLS. All right. So then we just go to look at our stocks. Again, depending on what your market is, depending on where the crumble leads you to, but follow the crumbles. So what was that? What was that ticker name? APLS because if the big money is looking at it, I want to look at it, right? Easy peasy. All right, so here we go. Boom. All right, so now we're looking at their stock. So this is APLS stock right here. Just looking at it. And sometimes what will happen is you get a nice little buy opportunity. Like, for example, since I do trading stocks, I don't know how to read these uh, charts. So put a little trend line there. Boom. And based on this, I would say that price will probably come down. It's going to continue coming down to this line. 
and then it's gonna go back up to the next line. All right, and that's pretty much it. Um, don't wanna make this too long, but yeah, you just saw all the cookie crumbles. Take it easy.